Hi, welcome and thank you for joining us today. We are here with Rosie. Her full name is Saroja Nimagata. Is it, did I say that correctly? Yes. Uh, but we call her Rosie for short. So we're here today to get to know a little bit more about Rosie and um, she is a brilliant healer. She's an, an amazing healer actually and very, very good at what she does. Very thorough, I think is how I would probably best describe your work, Rosie. You're very thorough from what I've seen. So um, please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about who you are and how you came across Bonnie's work and yeah, what brings you here? Well, hello, my name is Saroja Nimagata. Uh, my nickname is Rosie and I'm a spiritual accelerator, spiritualaccelerator.com. I'm so happy to be on the team. Really excited. I want to thank Bonnie Serratori and everyone else, uh, Sarah, all the other accelerators and all everybody who supported me and being on the team. And I just want to take the opportunity to let you know a little bit more myself and how I came on my journey and how I came to be at this point. And how I came to be, how I came on Bonnie's spiritual acceleration website and her work was um, actually it was through a remote Reiki session. Um, when I was married with, to an abusive husband and going through a lot of trauma, I was desperate for help in my depression, anxiety at the time. And seeing a psychiatrist wasn't really an option. So I, I looked on YouTube for Reiki videos, uh, some free Reiki videos. And I did those free Reiki videos for a while. And then when I divorced my husband, I had more free time to actually pay for remote Reiki sessions. And it was through an energy clearing remote Reiki session that I got access to a website, a uh, midday meditation uh, to protect our energies from coming in. And that led me to the spiritual acceleration website. So I checked out the spiritual acceleration website and just looked at it. I just did that meditation for a while. I saw there were clearings. I saw there were some other things. Uh, I didn't really pay attention to any of it until much, much later. I just decided, what, well, out of the blue, what the hell, let me try it. So I tried a group clearing called Healing Trauma Responses. And uh, my when I, after I received that clearing, I wasn't expecting much because usually when I try something, it doesn't really, uh, it's, you know, it's okay. But it wasn't like when I, my impressions after this were, wow, <laughs> uh, it was unbelievable. Uh, so I felt clearer, lighter. Some, this is something I never felt before. It was just, oh, wow, amazing. And I was just like, okay, I want to try to do more clearings. <laughs> you know, I want to try more group clearings. So, so ever since then, I've been doing all like so many group clearings on any topic you can imagine, anything under the sun, <laughs> I do it. Yep. And I tried out the semi-private sessions or small group energy clearings. And the very first uh, semi-private session I did with Bonnie, where I first met her on Zoom, was um, called, I believe it was called Healing Patterns of Trauma and Abuse. And trauma and abuse is definitely topics that resonate with me a lot because mm -hmm. I've suffered that throughout my whole life, uh, throughout my childhood, as little, the youngest I can remember, uh, you know, uh, school as an adult, my marriage, just always sad, always depressed, always bullied picked on, abused, emotional abuse, physical abuse, mm. you know, feeling ostracized. I felt, I felt this can't, I can't get, what can it get any better? I, th I felt this is the way I was, the way mm. I was. I felt this is my personality. I thought this is who I am, or that's what, what I was told that I was mm. by people like my parents and other people. So after I received this particular semi-private session, uh, I felt transformed. I felt more light in my heart um, and uh, clearer, lighter, and it's just a sense of hope and peace. Mm -hmm. This is maybe this is a pathway I could go into to actually help heal. And I knew it was going to take a while to do that, but I was willing to take the time, the money, and the effort to do so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, amazing. And I and yeah, that's something I can definitely resonate with. You just think that there's frequencies that are you, but they're actually not. <laughs> yeah, and, exactly. Um, yeah, so that's amazing. What a big story. That's huge. That's a huge healing journey. Um, mm -hmm. Almost heroic, like that's a big healing journey. So good good for you. I keep um, asking myself, how did I come upon Bonnie's website? It was just like destiny or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, it would have been your higher self leading you to where you yeah. needed to go for what you've chosen for this lifetime. So that's awesome. That makes sense. 
Um, and so uh, you sort of answered the second question, but you can um, elaborate it on, on if you want to. How has um, the spiritual acceleration clearings helped you? What, how has it changed you? Well, it's helped me become feel lighter, more hopeful. I know there's issues that I need to deal with. Like my social anxiety is an issue I need to deal with. But, um, and my depression has gotten better, I think. And so it's helped in other ways. I just feel a sense of connecting to my higher levels, connecting to the divine, uh, feeling that there's a sense of like peace. I have more peace in my heart, more gratitude in my heart more magic in my heart mm -hmm. you know there's negativity of course but there's definitely if i feel more magical more peace more love more self-love that's how it's helped me in so many ways just that's you know that's amazing good for you um and so then what motivated you to do the trainings like why did you want to learn um spiritual acceleration okay well um as, as I said before, I was I kept doing the group clearings. I was listening to Bonnie talking during the her prior to doing the group clearings and and her quantum consciousness and her live Q and A's. I was just really impressed with her herself, Bonnie herself, um, her own personal story, her own her, uh, spiritual journey, and also the different components of you know the discarnates and the, the dark forces. I didn't know we had so many foreign energies in our body that need to be clear. I had no idea we had discarnates in our body, dead people yeah. in our bodies. I never heard of something like that before. Yeah. And I'm surprised I took it so seriously too at the time. <laughs> and alien plants, which sounds crazy, but yeah, what, if I, I another person I probably would have, yeah, I'm turning this off, but I just listened and it kind of made sense. And then, you know, dark forces and then government plants, military implants, and then, uh, you know, karmic issues and then dealing with our past lives and clearing dealing with our ancestral issues and mm -hmm. there's still pieces of ours that are that are you know are outside and different realms and other people and we have to remove them back so so many different components that uh we need to deal with to help others help us help me feel how people feel more their true authentic self mm -hmm. and really bring out their more their unconditional love and light mm -hmm. you know yeah, Which is, you know, we want more love in our heart because that makes the world a better place, you know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. <clears throat> and so you took the foundations course, which I think you've done. How many times have you done foundations? I took the first time I took foundations training was in 2020. Yeah. And I'm taking it uh, currently now for the second yep. time. Yeah. Perfect. And, um, yeah, it's like the, it doesn't matter how many times you do foundations, you get so much more out of it. It's an yes. amazing course, and Chris is an, an amazing teacher. Um, so what was your experience then of taking foundations, and um, and how has it helped you? Okay, so when I found out there was a, a training called the Foundations Training that you could take to learn this material, yeah, I was excited to learn because it was all very fascinating and everything. I wanted to learn it. I wasn't sure if I could. So I did a consultation with one of the teachers. It was a, there was another teacher at the time. She said, try it. Mm -hmm. And I was a little nervous because I, I didn't have, I wasn't a healer, uh, at least in this lifetime. <laughs> I didn't have any uh, knowledge of any healing modalities, at least in this lifetime. And I didn't consider myself intuitive. I think I really shut down my intu intuition, mm -hmm. you know. And um, yeah. so the teacher, so one of the teachers says, yeah, try it. I tried the training and I was a little nervous at first and um, it was a small class. And what I found was that after, what I found after doing the exercises and going through the journeys, and I found out I did have a talent and skill in sensing and moving energy, and that and I was you know, I felt kind of a sense of confidence, but also felt that kind of like a like a phony because I wasn't sure what I was seeing was right and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I got a lot of support, encouragement, and feedback from the teachers, from the classmates. Everybody was great and wonderful. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And, you know, you can always feel a bit vulnerable in those learning spaces, but, um, you know, when the you just need to have the courage and the strength to show up and, and the magic comes together. That's sort of how I described it. The foundations class was magic for me. Um, and everyone was very, very supportive and um, it's, it's an amazing experience actually. So yes. that's, yeah, I'm glad you got everything that you needed and more out of it because we need you, Rosie. We need you on the team. You're <laughs> awesome. 
You mm-hmm. are awesome. So then you did the training and you've done a ton of healing on yourself and, um, you know, and I can see the confidence coming through you, which is really beautiful to see. Like you, re- it's, it is good. So what made you want to become an accelerator? Well, at the beginning, I wasn't sure if I wanted to be one because I wasn't sure if I had the confidence and, mm-hmm. you know, getting out there and stuff. And at the time I just wanted to work on myself, my kids, my son and daughter. Uh, but, um, I ended up picking up the apprentice training in 2022 and it was with uh, you and uh, a pretty sizable class mm-hmm. and it was a great class, great training. Um, I loved the clearings. I loved the teachings from Bonnie uh, going into the evil realm. I thought that was really something that you have to learn if you really want to go into these dark places. Uh, you know, saw a couple of people on the class re- releasing me from the boundness of the dark forces. Mm-hmm. So I think that's really significant and going into the wormholes, black holes, and really retrieving stuff, and you know, you know, and working with working with people, it just you know, wonderful. And yeah, it, it really helped me up level and upgrade my energetic tracking and clearing abilities. Really kind of like toned it in. So mm-hmm. it was, I, I just I just loved it. And um, you know, I'm taking that. I just finished the three month extended apprentice training, yes. and I'm taking another three month extended apprentice training um, next month. So, yeah, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> more, 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 more. Yeah, yeah. Just we never stop learning. We never stop yeah. learning. And Bonnie is such an amazing teacher. Like there's just yeah. an endless wealth of knowledge and yeah. um, you know, esoteric learning. So that's awesome. So um, why then become an accelerator for other people? Well, at that time I think I had more confidence in myself. I got a lot of support, encouragement from other people working with them. I just thought, okay, well, maybe I, maybe I could do this for a living. Maybe I could actually help people with their problems, you know, and make a difference in their lives and bring out their true authentic selves and help them live happy, peaceful lives. Mm-hmm. So I tried out for the position, you know, and I got accepted. I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm willing to help y- you, anybody who's willing, who has any issues, emotional, spiritual, mental, physical, Whatever they are, I can help clear it. I can surround you in the highest frequency source light, make you feel protected and safe. And I'm skilled in so many areas. And I can track your energy, whatever issue you have. I can track it, clear it, and make you feel transformed. Mm-hmm. And I'm skilled in clearing discarnates, clearing dark force interferences, going into ancestral issues, past life issues, I can clear implants, whether they be alien implants, government, military, one percenter, emotional implants. I can clear critters, I can clear, uh, I can do modern shamanism work. Um, I can clear so many different things. I could go into the well of grief, clear out your uh, deep emotional wounding. I can clear, just uh, clear your thought forms and misperceptions of reality. Just whatever is not you, I can clear and just, bring you a sense of peace and love yeah that's amazing and is there anywhere that you in an area where you specialize in or is there a particular area you love to work in well i took the awakened shaman course um just recently and i really love working with the elements so that's one area i really like and also um i feel dark force interferences is something that i i like mm-hmm. also implants uh, implants I'm pretty much like a jack of all trades, I would say, I would think. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's a good thing. Nothing gets past Rosie. <laughs> yeah. Whatever um, presents, presents, and I, I can clear it. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And so what services do you offer? I offer 30-minute sessions, 45-minute sessions, and 60-minute sessions. And I'm also offering a 50-minute free consultation, such as if you have any questions, any concerns, you want, just want to chat, get to know each other. I offer a fifty minute. I offer a link for a fifty minute cons- free consultation. That's awesome, cool, cool. So we'll have the links um, for people in um, the thread below, so that it's nice and easy to find. And um, yeah, I just think everyone should book a session with Rosie because you're you you very. My perception from when I've seen you work is you're very thorough. Nothing gets past Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> thank you well it's been really awesome chatting with you today thank you so much um oh actually i did have one more question for you actually sure. tell us a little bit um about who you are outside of this work like what is is if you got a passion have you got a hobby 
who's Rosie outside of um, energy healing? Okay, well, me, Rosie, outside of energy healing is I'm a mom to two kids. My son is, he's going to be 19 and uh, 20 in June. He's autistic and nonverbal. I have a 16-year-old daughter, soon to be 17, who will be graduating next year from high school. Oh, they'll both be graduating next year, so that'd be interesting. Uh, personally, for myself, I enjoy listening to music. I love listening to music, um, watching like detective shows and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I'm really mm -hmm. getting more into art. I'm not that I'm good at it, but it's usually the mm -hmm. process they talk about. Mm -hmm. So it's more like abstract art I'm doing. I'm working with pastels, watercolors. Oh, I, I love that. To drinks. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. And I'm also thinking of trying a ballroom dancing class or some kind of a uh, uh, downtown in our area. But yeah, we'll yeah, see if yeah. I have the nerve to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, Will, the whole new road is coming forward. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you for sharing. It's been really lovely chatting with you and getting to know more of you um, today. Thank you, Sarah, so much. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you again and um to those who are watching if you feel a resonance to work with rosie the links will be included below um and yeah don't hesitate to book the 15 minute free consultation because that's always a nice way of having a real one-on-one -on -one conversation to um see if Rosie's the right match and um specifically if you've got any questions um rosie can certainly help you um navigate that space is there anything else you want to say um just you know if you feel yeah if you feel you resonate with me you feel you can work with me just like sarah said just look at the list just, there's links below just reach out happy to talk to you i can happy i'd be happy to um talk about how i can help you and how i can serve you with your needs thank you yeah beautiful well said thanks rosie thank you